This question comes to us from Bud and it's about the L to L. And he says when he tries to do the L to L, what happens is through impact, he, he does this. He says, so how can I do the L to L and not have my, my wrist flip? Well, the first thing is you want to understand impact. So if I set up to the ball and I go to impact, that's where my impact position is. So the club's in line with my left arm. Now, if I just stand and I just let the I straighten the club out, you feel how the club, when it pulls on my arm, that's what flattens my wrist. So when I do the L to L, when I start down, I'm not trying to accelerate the club head with my right. See, I'm letting the weight of the club swing, and the weight of the club straightens my arm so I look like this through impact. And then what does the weight of the club do on the follow through? So I L, direct the momentum of the club, the weight of the club pulls on my left arm, and as the club's going past me over here, the momentum and the weight of the club, because my wrists are relaxed, what does it do to the club on the follow through? It makes them hinge up on the follow through. So the reason that that collapses is because back here, you're forcing the club to go and your arms aren't swinging fast enough to stay ahead of the club head. If you just use the momentum of the club head and let it do the work for you, it will straighten and flatten your left wrist. It has to. See, if I let the momentum of the club, if I come into the ball, my left leg pushes away and the club does this at impact, I can't do that because the momentum of the club is going to do this. Now, if this is relaxed enough, as that goes by, what happens? Because the club head's going a lot faster than my hands. So then the club re-hinges back up, boom, and there's the L on the follow-through side. So it's just a forcing the positions to happen rather than allowing momentum to do it. That's why it breaks down a little at impact. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.